As a filmmaker and a cinematographer, I'm excited about HDR because it's a creatively completely new territory to explore. Wilmos Zsigmond, one of the most famous cinematographers of all times, I was his student for a brief period of time. He once said that a great cinematographer is using more tones and nuances the way the great pianist does. And uh, in a way, HDR is this extended keyboard. There's so much more room in the highlight that we never had to deal with, uh, which opens up great possibilities, also great challenges. I was approached by Panasonic to create a short film because I was fortunate enough to be at the forefront of these new technologies. They offered me an opportunity to explore the use of HDR content that's created specifically for HDR screen. We just came from South Africa where we filmed a short film, Converging Beams. The challenge was to showcase HDR technology while telling this story. We wanted to shoot at the exact time of the day, each time, which is for a director a terrifying thing to do because uh, you only have 15 minutes windows uh, or maybe even less sometimes to shoot a scene. For example, at dusk, uh, there's a scene at the beach that we kept, just kept shooting until we could no longer see anything. This technology extended that magic period of time by at least 15 minutes, which is a lot. We got a few more shots of just because we could trust this technology. One of the exciting parts of making uh, this film for Panasonic was the fact that we were able to view HDR image on the set as we were shooting, which uh, I haven't had the opportunity to do before, and I don't know if anybody had before, which I hope is going to become a standard, that you'll be able to see the, the image on the monitor it's supposed to be presented on to the viewer on the set while you're creating the image. One of the most impressive things about HDR image is the highlights and sunlit exteriors. We wanted to have a variety of lighting conditions. We had uh, shots of the vehicle driving through city at night using only the available light. We had a high contrast situation in a bedroom and virtually no lights inside, so it was all lit from, from outside. While exposing for the actors to capture the performances, we could still capture all the highlights and all the colors. This is where this technology helped us a lot. The experience of watching television at home has become more cinematic. First of all, the technology is, not, is getting better and better, so we can now tell the story using the detail and contrast and color in television that we couldn't before. You can see great directors directing projects for television. So both the technology is better and also there's more talent working in television today. I think the real benefit for the viewers of this technology being in their homes now is that the content that's going to be created for these televisions are going to be much higher standard. And I'm excited to know that the audience will be able to watch this in a way it was meant to be seen.